Hello everyone. So today we will study about the topic method of characteristics. Now in this method an PDE is, is solved by reducing it to ordinary differential equations. So the method of characteristics was developed by Hamilton in the middle of the 19th century. So he found that when certain uh, partial differential equations are integrated along a special types of curves, it can be reduced to ordinary differential equations. And these special curves are called the characteristic curves. And hence this method is called the method of characteristics. So it is an analytic method for solving a PDE and it is based on the fact that the PDE is reduced to a system of ordinary differential equations and it is solved. So in this lecture I will be providing you a geometric view of this method. That is geometrically what we are doing in this method. So um, we will start with the method of characteristics. So first you consider a quasi-linear equation. So the equation is of the form a of x u y u x plus b of x y u u y equal to c of x y u. So this is a quasi-linear equation. We need to solve this quasi-linear equation. It means that we know that the solution of a partial differential equations are integral surfaces and in fact there are infinitely many surfaces exist. So our aim is to find a smooth function u which will satisfy this equation in some domain. So whatever the domain we are considering in R2. Okay, because here u is a function of x and y. So we are considering uh, the domain in the, uh, the domain will be an open subset of R2. So our aim is to find a smooth function u which will satisfy this equation. Now uh, whenever we consider a PDE with some initial conditions the solution will exist only locally. Local solution means if the solution exists in a small neighborhood of the initial condition. Global solution means it exists everywhere. So uh, it uh, exists at every point then we say that the solution is global. But we are unable to find a global solution for PDE when some initial conditions are given. So it means that in the neighborhood of the initial condition if there exists a solution then we say that the solution is local. And even if even if in even it does if it there does not exist a very small neighborhood in which the solution exists, so there is no such neighborhood of the initial curve in which a solution exists for a PDE, then we say that the PDE has no solution. So the solution can be uh, mostly the solution will be a local solution that it, it will exist in some neighborhood of the initial data. So for simplicity first we will consider the linear equation. So here a is a function of x and y alone. u is not there so this is a linear equation a of x comma y u x plus b of x comma y u y equal to c naught of x comma y u of x y plus c1 of x y. Now our aim is to solve this linear equation. Now this equation if you take all the terms in the RHS to LHS it is like this AUX plus BUY minus C naught U minus C1 equal to 0. Now we can write this as an inner product of two vectors among them the first one is AB C naught U plus C1 and the second one is ux uy minus 1. So if you denote this first vector by a and the second vector by n, we see that the dot product of two vectors a and n is 0. It means that the two vectors are perpendicular to each other. 
Now what is this vector n? n is a vector ux uy minus 1 which is, which is nothing but the normal to the surface. It is the equation of normal to the surface. So, give, so this we have already discussed. Given a surface, its normal is del f gradient of f and it is obtained as ux uy comma minus 1. So this is normal to the surface. It means that this point, so this vector should lie in the tangent plane. Okay, because this is normal and this is orthogonal to the normal. So orthogonal to normal means it should lie in the tangent plane. So it means that A, B, C0, U plus C1 must lie in the tangent plane of the surface, integral surface. So it means that our aim is to find a surface in such a way that in which the graph of u in such that for every point x comma y a b c naught u plus c1 lie in the tangent plane. So this is our aim that is a finding a solution of pd is equivalent to saying that we have to find a vector such that a dot n is 0. And this is equivalent to saying that we have to find a surface. Surface happens to be a graph of u. Okay. U is a function of x and y. So graph of u means when we plot x, y and u of x, y. Okay. In, so it's a surface in R3. So that is graph of u. So, um, so solving this PD is equivalent to saying that we need to find a surface which is a graph of u such that at every point x comma y a b c naught u plus c1 lie in the tangent plane. So this is our aim. So for simplicity uh, you suppose that this is the x axis, this is the y axis, this is the z axis. Now u is a function of x and y. So, uh, its domain is in R2. Now, when we uh, plot graph of u, we have to plot x, y, comma u of x, y. Now, u of x, y uh, takes values in the z axis. Okay. So, this we, so, now this is graph of u is in R3. So, this graph of u is a surface. It is a surface in R3. So, this is the, uh, this surface is given here. This is the surface in R3. And suppose that another initial curve is also given. That is, there will be so many integral surfaces. There will be so many solutions. And among the solution, we have to find the one which contains this initial curve. So, this is an initial value problem. So, suppose this is a curve which lies on the surface. So, we have to find that integral surface in which the given curve lies. Now this is a parametric equation of the curve. The curve is x of t, y of t, z of t, where t is in R. t is a real number, t is a parameter here. So this is our problem. We have to find an integral surface which contains the given curve, initial curve and in such a way that at every point x, y on this surface the point a b c naught u plus c1 should lie in the tangent plane so this is what we have to find out now suppose that c lies on the graph of u okay so if c lies on graph of u that is a curve lies on the integral surface then as from the previous result we will get that the point a b c naught u plus c1 should lie in the tangent plane okay so we know the components of the tangent planes are dx by dt dy by dt dz by dt so we got dx by dt should be a dy by dt should be b dz by dt should be c naught u plus c1 so it means that the point a b c naught u plus c1 lies in the tangent plane Okay, now what is this? This represents a system of ordinary differential equation. So we have converted a PDE into a system of ODE. 
so if we solve this system we will get the points which lies such that a b c naught 2 plus c 1 lie in the tangent plane so this equation the system of ordinary differential equations are called the characteristic equations and um, it will uh, have and their solutions are called the characteristic curves now the solutions are also guaranteed by Picard's theorem which you have studied in ordinary differential equation so since the coefficients that is uh, a b and c naught c1 are smooth functions so by Picard's theorem guarantees the existence of a solution of a first order ODE so we will get that there exists a solution for this it means that there exists a curve which satisfy this solution so there may be so many curves which satisfy the solution so the so those curves are called the characteristic curves so this is the system of ODEs are called the characteristic equation and when we solve the characteristic equation we will get characteristic curves so they are the curves so there are so many curves okay so uh, among all those curves what we have to do is we have to choose the curve which satisfy our initial condition also so in this problem we have two uh, criteria to be met first thing is that in the surface every point x y should should be in such a way that a b c naught u plus c 1 should lie in the tangent plane and second condition is that it should the initial curve should lie in the integral surface so uh, we have incorporated the first condition and we got characteristic curves so we can see that this uh, points will lie in the tangent plane so we got the characteristic curves now we have to incorporate the initial condition also that is among those curves we have to find which the curves which satisfies the initial conditions also okay so if we get if we are able to find such curves then what we have to do is we have to take union of all such characteristic curves then we will get the required integral surface so geometrically it is like that mm, see the figure so suppose this is the initial curve so this is the in, uh, surface so this is the initial curve which lies in the surface so we have we have solved the ODE so we got so many curves we got so many characteristic curves now we are fixing we are parameterizing it and we are fixing a s okay so for a fixed s we are finding those curves which start with the initial curve okay so we are finding the curves those characteristic curves which starts from the initial curve and at each point it has the derivative that is a b c naught u plus c 1 that derivative is there okay now instead of looking at all any arbitrary curves what we are uh, looking is we are choosing those curves which starts with the initial curve so suppose this point is fixed so here s is fixed so um, i will get one characteristic curve like this so this characteristic curve starts from this point on the initial curve then as s varies i will get so many characteristic curves so these are all characteristic curves they all start with the initial curve now if i take union of all these characteristic curves okay so if i take union of all these characteristic curves i will get the required integral surface so we get the integral surface in this way so i have given a geometric meaning of the method of characteristics now in the next class we will see how to do the problems thank you